Hello, hello, hello. Dr. Andre Pinesett here, the pre-med productivity expert. Uh, today we're doing pre-med Q&A with Dr. Andre. Today's question is not a great question, uh, I don't think, but I think there's a great answer in it, so I'm gonna answer it. Uh, and that question is, if I'm a pre-med, what should I major in in college? Um, like I said, I think this is a bad question because the short answer is it doesn't matter what you major in. Um, the, what people are really asking is, should I do science or should I do non-science? And um, it doesn't matter. Uh, doing science is nice because it allows you to efficiently get all the pre-med requirements and make sure you hit all those and you don't have to take a lot of extra classes. Um, if you major in a non-science, then it'll probably take you uh, a lot more classes um, because you'll have to also make sure you do all the pre-med requirements in addition to your major. And so when you do a science, it's all built in, so it's just shorter. Um, but what I would say is whatever you major in doesn't really matter because you should actually have personal learning in your life. And this is an important concept and this is why I actually answered this question because I think people think, oh, you know what, I, I really like this, but I was told I was majoring in this. If you really like something, it doesn't matter what you major in, you should study it anyway. You know, if you're passionate about 17th century medieval, that's medieval times, <laughs> medieval uh, English literature, you don't have to major in that to study it, right? You don't have to major in that to, you know, spend time doing that. You can read books, you can audit classes, you could just go and hang out and learn the material and leave and not have to worry about the homework, all those things. So don't feel limited by whatever your major is to only study that. In my own case, I was a biochemistry and molecular biology major. Uh, in undergrad. I was a UCI anteater, zot zot for my anteaters. Um, but I thought that I might have an interest in business and so I just started taking business classes. I started reading business books and it just so happened that by the end of my uh, undergrad I had enough classes to add on a business management minor. I technically would have had enough for a business major but we didn't have one at my school. But I just took it upon myself to learn these things outside of that. And the reason that why that is so great is because when you're curious about something and you get a little bit more exposure to it, you might find out how much you really actually like it. And in my case, I really liked business. <laughs> so I took the time before going to medical school to uh, pursue a master's in public health at UCLA with a focus in health services management. And so it is not like most of the public health degrees. It was actually mostly business classes. I was learning about how to manage a hospital, how to do accounting, how to do financing, how to do you know organizational behavior and how to manage people all those things that I was interested in for my business classes. Had I not taken the time and you know, taken it upon myself to learn more about business, I would have missed out this, on this entire opportunity. I mean, even today, I'm a resident physician, so my primary focus is medicine, yes, but I carry a book with me all the time, and that book is never medically related because I wanna make sure that I'm still reading and you know, learning and growing in the things that I'm passionate about, namely business. Um, but. Uh, and learning is my other one, right? <laughs> Doing all this stuff. Uh, so I'm constantly reading about that, constantly, uh, you know, staying, you know, fresh on what's new in an area. And so that's what I would say to that, that question. So what should you major in? Major in something you're interested in, that you're actually gonna go to class for, that you're gonna get the good grades you need, and that you're gonna be able to fulfill your pre-med requirements without too much stress. But outside of your major, take time to really learn about the things you're passionate about. That's what you know, being a lifelong learner is all about, and medicine is all about being a lifelong learner. So start early, start now, learn about whatever you're passionate about. Don't be limited by your major or by your classes or by whatever, all right? So this is Dr. Pineset, the pre-med productivity expert. Um, so I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, the pre-med productivity expert. I want you to visit my website, premedproductivity.com. I hope this was helpful. Check out the rest of my videos, and always, like I always, always say, please reach out to me, contact me. There's no excuse why you shouldn't get into medicine, right? I want to help you dominate pre-med, so contact me. Let's get at it.